um, Mr. Emil Wagner. Emil is uh, one of the founders of Ape Unit and um, he is responsible for the whole application layer from that perspective. Warm applause for Emil. Please welcome him on stage. Hey. Uh, thank you very much for the introduction. A few words about APNet. We're a network of uh, developers, designers, and strategy people. We're organized in different units, and I there lead the unit that's all about blockchain technology, and our focus is very much on the user experience of blockchain applications. And um, that's also how I got involved with Eternity to um, think about the architecture of the application layer in the beginning. And now uh, it shifted a little bit about uh, coordinating the efforts to cre create common standards in the application layer. And today I will talk a little bit about um, the Eternity technology in general and also what is there on the application layer to work with already. And um, I think we had very good insights in the beginning today to what is, what is to come there. Um, so the general approach of uh, Eternity is to move a lot of features that you have uh, usually in smart contracts on the pro in the protocol level. Um, that means that a lot of things that you usually have to develop in smart contracts are already there and relatively easy to access. Um, in addition to that, there's a complete new smart contract language that is designed for, especially for blockchain systems. So one of the biggest challenges like um, security and safety are addressed here to really uh, try to remove the uh, reduce the code to the really, really minimal and also reduce the uh, space for mistakes there. Um, through the smart contract language, you can already access like oracles that help you to deal with um, real world data. We have a naming system to make the applications way, way, way more user friendly. And uh, we have state channels. That is a very interesting technology that helps you to do a lot of uh, the transactions actually off-chain and is a great, great improvement for if you think about large-scale applications with a lot of transactions and a lot of users. How this works is that you basically, you could imagine you use the blockchain more as a court in case of a dispute between participants than instead of putting every transaction there. Um, and then there are also a couple of technologies that help you a lot on the protocol level to improve in general the user experience of your applications. One of them to mention here is uh, a technology called Bitcoin NG that helps you to uh, have almost immediate user feedback once there's something happening on the chain. I think uh, compared to other platforms, this is a really, really big advantage. And also what I mentioned before, the uh, State channels can help you a lot once you deal with use cases where people have to deposit something or you want to ensure liquidity in a, in a certain field. What is there already on the application layer? So we have a couple of uh, software development kits already out there. Um, there are a lot of people also working on more right now. And very important, we already also have a caching layer. Uh, we call it middleware that allows easy and really fast access to all the information on the chain. So this is something, uh, once you build a consumer-facing application, that will really, really help you a lot um, to build performant interfaces that are nice to use. What is there, of course, also for developers, there's a lot of tooling already for developing the smart contracts and uh, deal with things. We have wallets and different kinds. We have wallets for mobile phones, uh, browser extensions, and common standards how to deal with them. So you can already use there a lot of infrastructure and hopefully reduce your development time. And 
this is what I want to talk about today, actually. <laughs> we have expansions. Uh, this is for us um, a place uh, where we discuss common standards that are not on the blockchain protocol itself. And I think one of the um, biggest bloggers for decentralized applications right now is user experience. And um, of course, a lot can be addressed on, in the blockchain itself, but it is really, really important to, to get to good user experience to have common standards where all our different uh, models and business use can plug in and also uh, users can switch from one to another and uh, contribute to each other. Um, so this is why I would like to encourage everybody who would like to build a project on Eternity also to keep in, uh, reserve some time to also contribute to this because um, if we don't do uh, do this all together, then we will never have a good user experience in any of our applications. And where to start? So I think the forum is a very good place if you have a new idea. I know, for example, the guys from YouTube, they are working on a trust engine, and that might be also interesting to publish some uh, things about that so other people could also integrate this in their applications and have a really good interoperability there. Um, other than that, of course, GitHub, that might be not so interesting for you here. <laughs> but there are also uh, some interesting discussions um, going on. That's it from my side. Questions? And we have questions. I knew we were going to have questions. <laughs> there we go. Um, uh, yeah, that's what you have so far. Thank you for that. And uh, how about uh, some kind of high-level roadmap? So what are you planning to do over the next year or so? Um, in such a decentralized project, I would say what are we all together planning to do okay. over the next years? Yeah, uh, of course, I mean, Right now, I mean, the, with, the, with the next hard fork, we, we expect the whole development environment uh, for the dev teams to become way more stable. Yeah? So right now, we, with, with every new iteration, there are a lot of new features and a lot of new stuff to try out. And uh, right now, we are more in, a, in things where I expect the things to, um, at least in the, in the protocol development, to slow down a little bit, and we can really ship consumer-facing applications based on eternity. And this is what um, I would like to see. And of course, we will do our best to uh, provide all the tooling around in, in a way that this is also possible and more reliable. OK. In the back. Oh, no, you're scratching your back. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Do we have more questions yes. or? Because next we have a coffee break. And thank you so much, Emil. It's been enlightening. Warm applause for Emin, Emil. My bad. <laughs>